Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to another beer review on Cheer to Beers. My name is Travis as always and on this review we're looking at a pretty limited release beer and this is Stone's Smoked Porter with Chipotle Peppers. You've seen, you've seen the Stone Smoked Porter out there and the 22 ounce bombers and uh, that's been around actually I think since 96 they've been making that beer. This beer came around in 06 and it's actually been only on draft until um, this past year they just released this in bottles two or three months ago I picked one up I've had it for a little bit and I've been saving it to review so uh, let's go ahead and get into stone smoked porter with chipotle peppers in that pour, you can see it is dark as night and uh, has kind of a mocha color head um, just a, a overall decent looking pour you know kind of typical for what uh, most pours look like let's give this beer a smell wow you smell um it it, it smells just like it, it should it's it's kind of uh, that characteristics of a porter smell the uh, the smokiness in there and then you can tell you can smell some of those peppers in there as well they use uh, jalapeno peppers in this um, in this beer uh, let me give it another smell yeah, it really lights up your nostrils. Um, you can tell there's some of that spiciness in there um, coming up through. And then, uh, yeah, some of the smokiness and just a base porter smell, which is almost in the background, but you can, this beer kind of has a, a balanced smell. Okay, let's take a drink of the Stone Smoked Porter with Chipotle Peppers. Cheers. Now, if you haven't seen my review of um, Cave Creek Chili Beer, check that out, and uh, then Ghost Scorpion, check that review out. Those are the other two beers I've done with peppers, but those are kind of meant to be novelty beers, and I think this is uh, close to a novelty beer, not something you're probably going to drink six of or something, but um, I haven't even told you about the taste, but the taste was actually, it wasn't too bad, it wasn't as strong as I thought it was going to be overall in the whole taste, um, but it, it seems pretty good. Yeah, um, decent carbonation, um, not a medium amount of bitterness in the mouthfeel. And it's quite dry at the end. It drinks, uh, drinks kind of like a, a typical porter with, with that roasted malt. You really do get some of that dryness at the end. And those peppers are kind of taking their place in the background. I can tell they're there, but I think they're, this, they're, j they're just enough to keep this away from just being a novelty beer. It's, it's, it's there to where it's not spicy, but you can, you can kind of just feel that little tingle on your tongue. Uh, you, that, that makes you know that they're there and uh, you just yeah you just get a little bit of that taste and there's some of that smokiness not a ton of smokiness um, but it's this is a very actually well balanced beer I thought it was going to be overly um, in the pepper taste but uh, so far so good yeah very well balanced medium bodied solid solid beer so far so let's uh, sip on this one for a while and I'll come back to my final thoughts on my rating on the stone smoked porter with chipotle peppers Okay, I'm back here with my final thoughts on. Okay, I'm back with my final thoughts, my rating on Stone Smoked Porter with Chipotle Peppers, and uh, I gotta say this is probably one of the most balanced beers um, I've had in a while. It actually, um, but then it actually it has has a lot of going on, but it's like it's almost confusing to the palate. Actually, I started getting some hops in there. Um, you get the smokiness, you get some hops, you get the spice, you get. Um, the roasted malt, some chocolate malt, it's just like, it's, I don't know if it's a good combination or not. It, it seems pretty balanced, but it's really weird. Um, you do start to feel it a little more on your tongue in the back of your throat as you're drinking it. Um, so those peppers do come out more. But the, the porter taste just isn't, isn't what I thought it was going to be. I've actually never had the stone smoke porter, so I wasn't sure what to expect from this beer. And I just, I, I'm just not getting a great smoked porter, I guess you would say. I'm just getting a pretty decent one with those chipotle peppers added. Uh, you know, it's not a bad beer. Um, would I seek this out again? Probably not. Um, they have a vanilla version of the smoke porter. I might try that. Um, but, you know, if, if you like smoked beers, you might enjoy this one. You know, if, if, if you're kind of into the, the, the pepper beers and you like porters, this is probably actually a good, a good beer for you to try, and you, and you might enjoy it a lot. But, you know, overall as a beer, um, just not exactly what I thought it, thought it was going to be. Not worth $4 a bottle. But uh, So I'm going to go ahead and give the... Uh, Stone smoked pork chipotle peppers is six out of ten. Um, you know, it's it's still something. You know, maybe someone offered me one, I'd have it again. 
But, uh, you know, nothing I'm probably going to seek out. You know, maybe, maybe try it one more time uh, at a bar or something like that. But, you know, if you've never had this beer, though, it might be worth a try just to check it out. And maybe split a bottle with a friend or something. But remember, guys, give me a thumbs up if you like the videos. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you thought of the videos. And subscribe. I got uh, almost uh, 250, or 250 subscribers, I think. I'm getting pretty close. So it's, it's, it's great to be growing and, and having more people watch my videos. I, re I really enjoy the community growing and, you know, hearing from more people. I, I love hearing what people have to say about beer and, and hearing from other beer tubers. It's, it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun to do these videos. I love doing it for you guys. So until next time, cheers.